cedar compost bin. Let's dance. Step one, cut to length. Get more wood. Remember all that stuff a minute ago about build boxes and rinse, repeat, and all that fun stuff? Uh, that was actual footage of me making a mistake and doing it wrong. Truth be told, I'm building this airplane as we take off. So, what I realized moments after making that mistake is I need to make some of this cedar compost bin operable. And the way I'm going to do that is with corner boards and inside rails. Now that I've got that, buckle up. We're back on track. To get the box joint look we're looking for with offsetting butt joints running up the side of the compost bin, I'm going full width, four foot six, 33. And for the next one, I'm going 36, four foot three. Ah! For the next one, toity tree, four foot six. And what that does, just like the rig garden bed we made, it offsets the joints to look like a box joint. The previously mentioned corner boards go on the corners. And because I'm me, and I don't want this to look like something like, here's what I can make with deck boards, I tune this corner up a little. I knocked the bull nose off here on the table saw, made this five, and then I knocked the bull nose off here on the table saw, made it four, so both corners or a gracious five inches, and there's no ugly shadow line there. I realize it's a compost bin, but as I say, when I make planter boxes or any number of things, this is a great place to hone your DIY skills, or if you're a professional carpenter like me, make something nice. I don't want it to look ugly when I'm done. It's a compost bin, sure, but now I'll take a couple of number eight by twos and I'll just go top left. That pinched, bottom right. I'll continue all the way around. And faster scenes after this. Now I know what I'm doing. The center style here is the key because what we're gonna be able to do is make a panel for this section so the customer can lift the panel out, work the compost, put the panel back. There will also be a hinged lid on top of here, which we'll get to in a second. Side, back, side will be a box. Now they don't have to alternate box joints because, well, you can't see them, can you? Onward. Stave stave four inch style i've got a two inch deck board i'm going to fit in between like so to separate this panel from this panel feeling very hosty today to separate this panel from this panel Later on the morning zoo, we'll have Bozo the Clown. Right now, we just have Bozo the Exhausted Deck Builder. Building a cedar compost bin. I like building this kind of stuff, by the way. It really is fun. A table saw makes pretty good work table for assembling our first panel and 
what that consists of is one, two, three, four, two by six. I've registered them, of course, butt against the fence and flush to the edge of the table. And I cut a deck board 23 inches. I cut it an inch short on each end, so this is 25, deck board's 23. I ripped it in half. And now I'm going to assemble it like so. I guess it is worth pointing out that while the table saw is a handy work table, you know what else is a handy work table? A work table! Golly, why didn't I set one up? Reassemble. Corners first. That'll square everything up so that these loose ends are where they're supposed to be. Building it as we fly, building it as we fly. Fasten the corner boards to the sides. And remember, you've got a void in here for the operable panel. So set your screws back. I'm gonna put mine like this. This cedar compost bin is going to get one hinged top, two hinged tops. And because we have our corner boards on from before, I want the hinges to run in plane with that corner board trim so that the doors can open unrestricted. So I'll just take a couple of pieces of five quarter decking that I ripped and Stick them in here and call those hinge blocks. One per hinge. And just like that, people of the good ship cedar compost bin, the hinge block thing didn't work either. As I went upstairs to put the lid together, it was huge. So I had to punt again. So what I did was I put a little cap in back out of a ripped piece of decking. I've got two false lid covers, and then I'm gonna hinge the operable portions of these, and I'm gonna do all that right now. I think, I hope, please compost bin pro tip. I might have just invented that category of information. That doesn't exist. Just more evidence that a scratch all is a good thing to have around because here I'm using it as a little catch so the hinge doesn't fold and fall in there. How about that for a tip? One, two, skip a few. Get that nice and square. Vastly overdoing this. It's a compost bin. I'm starting to think this compost bin has it out for me. I'll get there. These intersect this. So this has to go. I hate notching stuff. I hate it. But in this case, no choices. Oh, it's a compost bin. Blade is set a little deeper than the thickness of this. 
kerf them and connect the dots. And that, people of the good ship, compost bin, that's all she wrote. I'll see you on the next one.